I'm Mike Tolliver and this is ICOC Hot News. The big story today is the huge 2010 North American Campus Conference held in Chicago in July. An astonishing 2,100 campus disciples from across the USA and Canada gathered in Chicago for the biggest assembly of campus disciples in well over a decade. In the last 30 months, we estimate our campus ministries in North America alone have doubled in size to over 3,000 disciples. And a majority of those students came to Chicago, fired up and ready to dream big dreams for God. Chicago was a beautiful host city, and the conference took place not far from the downtown on the shores of Lake Michigan. Ministers and interns gathered early for training, good news sharing, prayer, and planning. The conference itself was spectacular. The singing, preaching, and fellowship made the weekend a mountaintop experience. People's eternal destiny. But it wasn't all just fellowship, fun, and learning. Hope Worldwide organized a full day of service in nearby Inglewood. Inglewood is a neighborhood with high crime and many needs. And the disciples got up early and pitched in all day, cleaning up and picking up trash. The event covered by the local news included a personal thank you from Mayor Richard Daly of Chicago. Another highlight was the continued commitment of the students to the one-year challenge. The one-year challenge is the call for students to donate a year of their life in service for God. Students are helping right now in Nevada and Utah here in the United States, strengthening churches and planting campus ministries. Johannesburg, South Africa is offering eight paid intern positions and spots are also available in Turkey and in Portland, Maine. You can get more information on the One Year Challenge uh, at ICOC Hot News, our website, or also hearamisendme.net. All in all, it was a great conference. We are seeing a campus explosion around the world that continues to gather momentum. This year, we are expecting an attendance of 4,500 at 20 campus conferences being held in 20 countries around the world. For North America, the 2011 conference will be split between Denver in the west and Athens, Georgia in the east. And in 2012, we'll all be together in San Antonio. Please be praying as the campus explosion continues. Not only did Chicago, of course, do a great job hosting the conference, but the winds of revival are blowing through the congregation as well. Recently, the 1900 members have made some huge strides. The campus has grown from 55 students to 120 in the last five years, enabling the church to send out seven campus disciples to serve as full-time interns across the Midwest. On top of this, the leadership of the Chicago church has generously sent several couples out to lead in various churches. In another bold move, Chicago sent Dave and Beth Pachta to South Africa to help with the youth and family ministry there. There is no question but that Chicago's generosity is now a blessing to many churches. On top of all this, in spite of all the sending out of people, the church has now turned and is growing again. Literally hundreds are visiting the services. We asked lead evangelist A.T. Arneson why the big change. You know, we closed out 2009 with the entire leadership of the church fasting that we would be unified and that God would move in 2010 in many powerful ways. And that's exactly what we see happening. We see an incredible unity among the eldership and the evangelists. We see it among the entire staff. And we see it among the leadership of the Chicago church down into the membership. And we are seeing young people being raised up, people being sent out not just in the Midwest, but internationally. And uh, we believe God is just blessing us. And the days ahead are good for the Chicago church. Amen. I'm so proud of um, the sisters in the Chicago Church. This past March, we all came together and had uh, women's events throughout the whole Chicago area. And um, just with the unity that AT talked about and, and the prayer and fasting, God brought 700 guests out to our women's events. And many of those women have become Christians and are studying the Bible. And it was just encouraging to see God be glorified through, um, through the women's efforts. Here at Hot News, we love turnaround stories. 
and we expect more great news to come out of the windy city of Chicago in the months to come. That's all for now. We'll see you back at the website.